No, I really quite like this because this is primary dealers for U.S. Treasuries. So basically what this means is that um, it, it shows us that the group of the world's biggest bond firms, including Goldman Sachs, but also Morgan Stanley, just boosted their outright position in U.S. government securities the most since 2013. So you can see it ticking higher. What does this tell us about what they're expecting the Fed to do? The market's not afraid of the Fed. It, and, and let's face it, it's coming from a very, very low level. It's not raising interest rates by... To, to anywhere near the levels we've seen historically. Um, but the big thing will be when it unwinds its balance sheet, and that still remains a, a, a very unclear position, how it's going to actually get rid of the assets that it's accumulated during quantitative easing. That's the point when you might see more of a bond market reaction. That's a bit of a way yet. I know that the two of you hang on every moment of Bloomberg surveillance. We spent the last 72 hours doing a sort of end of May early June reset. And I'm, I'm shocked, Mark Gilbert, at the mystery out there over whether the economy. Let's back up on a Friday morning. Why are we having a mystery? Why, why aren't we more certain, Mark Gilbert, about the vector of inflation, the vector of economic growth, and for that matter, the vector of jobs? Why is this? Because we're in the middle of, a, of an unprecedented experiment with trillions of dollars pumped into the global economy by central banks in Japan, by the ECB, by the Bank of England, by the Fed. And yet we're seeing no inflation. We're not seeing wage yeah. growth and we're not seeing consumer prices rise. And the textbooks aren't working. All of the things we would have expected to see at this point in right. the cycle, not really happening.